Hello everyone, John Davenport from Fulgurapathy.com and today we're going to look at uh, how I created this image here. Uh, I posted a few days ago on my website and um, a lot of people seem to really like it. So I thought I'd show you all how I created it. Uh, it, it was pretty straightforward, it's kind of a, a method that I stumbled across myself when I was trying to come up with a creative way of displaying these fall colors this year. Um, so. Let's just get started. We'll jump right into Lightroom. Um, you can see this is the image straight out of camera. Um, and the basic edits were done um, in Lightroom. So, you know, I, I had to uh, really up the shadows here. I brought the exposure up a little bit. And this just, you know, brings the foreground back into the image. Um, and then um, everything else was, you know, just the standard move it till it feels good type of thing that I do when I edit my photos. Um, there's no real magic method behind how these sliders end up and they definitely won't end up in the same place that they did the time that I edited it for my site. Um, so anyway, just real quickly I'll just move a few around. Um, so that was the basic idea. Now how did I get just the orange color of the trees? I went down into this HSL, it's Hue Saturation Luminescence. And um, in the saturation panel, we have all the different colors that are in this image. And you can drop the saturation of various colors. So what I decided to do was I just dropped the greens and the blues and um, I think the yellows. Anything that didn't really affect the trees, but affected everything else. So as you can see right now, we're almost there. We have... You know, most of the, of the orange in the trees and on the ground here, but there are some swatches in the background. So what I did for that was I have these uh, two here. These are the two files that I used last time. And I'll open those up in Photoshop. Now, one of them is just a complete black and white image. And the other one is the one that you just saw. So I'll drag the colored image on top and um, then what you do is you end up just creating a layer mask here and then if you paint over anything on this layer in black what happens is it'll take that part of this image out and it'll replace it with the image in the background because this there's really it basically just erases everything here um, you could do this Without a layer mask, you could simply erase, but then you'd be um, erasing your actual image where this is a way to keep your original photo intact. And that way, if you make a mistake, you can easily go back and get your original photo back. Um, but as you can see, now all the color is coming out of the background, all those little splotches of orange that aren't making this image attractive are, are leaving and um, you know I'll just simply go around and, and do whatever to it and, and get it to be basically what it was when I went to publish it. Um, then the last step, well second to last step I guess is the um, merge layers and this basically will make it one image and then I went into uh, Topaz Labs, Topaz Adjust. And um, I use Topaz for final touches all the time. Um, it has a, a really unique way of, of bringing out some um, great detail in images. And I, I like how it works. I like uh, being able to add vignettes if I want to, um, or frames or anything really um, warmth. And it, it, all, all my you know final touches will go in here. Um, Sometimes I won't use it, sometimes I will, but uh, basically for this image, um, I did something uh, probably a little different than this. I don't think I had quite as much warmth, but, um, you know, that, that's, it really depends on the day. So then you just hit OK, and your image is, is done, and it's, it uh, exports this, um, this is basically like a filter. I guess you could say this um, new image becomes your top image on, um, or your top layer in Photoshop, as you'll see here. So now you have the background copy, which is your top image, and then this is the 
image that we had before we went into Topaz. So if you want, you can do, you know, um, different different intensities of it, or you can even um, you can do different overlays. It, it really is up to you um, how your final image looks. But for me, I, I just have uh, the normal 100%, and all you see is the Topaz image. Um, so that's it. Um, please take a minute, visit my site, fogropathy.com. I'll put a link below because it's uh, not easy to spell. And um, yeah, subscribe to my video if you like my videos. Um, and I'll see you around. Bye.